Okay, so today we're going to look at another way of doing the equation of a straight line. This is called the higher formula because before National 5 came in, this formula was only done at higher. Um, the beauty to this one is it allows you to find the equation of any straight line even if the y-intercept is not given. And some people prefer to use this one all the time. Some people might use the mixture of two. So here is the formula here in the bubble. Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. And again, you have to memorise this one. It is not given to you in the exam. Okay. Um, so please memorise it, write it down. M is still the gradient, so we already know how to get that. This bit is slightly new though. A, B, so we take any new co any coordinate we prefer and we label it A, B. And then that's what we substitute in here for A and B. And then there's a wee bit of rearrangement to do. And as I said, this is especially good when you don't know your C value. So let's look at an example. Find the equation of the line passing through 5, 2 and 8, 8. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to label it x1, y1 and x2, y2. And we are going to go find the gradient. So this is all stuff we've done before. So it's y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So starting from the right hand side, we're going to do 8 take away 2 on the top. And on the bottom, 8 take away 5. And this will give us 6 over 3, which can simplify down to 2 over 1. But remember, we don't need the 1. It's really 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So our gradient m equals 2. Now, what you probably would have previously done is then taken that coordinate, taken one of those coordinates and subbed it into y equals mx plus c. And that would have given us our equation that way. We would have subbed in a value for x and y, rearranged to get c. But we're not going to do it that way now. We're going to use this new formula. So let's get rid of that because that's no longer the way we're going to do it because we don't have a C value. None of our coordinates are zero something. So I'm going to start, take a coordinate. Now you can choose, you can use the five, two or the eight, eight. I'm just going to use the very first one. Out of, my prefer um, out of preference, if there is a negative there, I probably wouldn't use that one. So I'm going to call the five, two, my A and my B value. So the equation was Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. So replacing B with the number 2, we end up with Y take away 2 equals, now M is also 2, bracket X minus A is the number 5. And that gives us that. Now that's has got the equation of line, but it's not in the format we used to. So we need to do a wee bit of rearranging. So we're going to expand that bracket. Oops, a daisy. Y minus 2 equals 2X two minus 2 times 5 is 10. We're getting closer. The only thing now is we don't have y on its own. That minus 2 is in the way. So minus 2 is going to come over and become a positive 2. So we've got 2x minus 10, positive 2. Some of you will probably skip that wee line, but I'm putting it in. And that gives us y equals 2x. Negative 10 plus 2 is negative 8. And that is the equation of this straight line. Okay, so it's y-intercept, if it then asked you, would be that the y-intercept is 0 minus 8. And it hasn't asked you that, but that's what it would have been. So we didn't need to be given the y-intercept at all in the question like we've been given previously. Let's have a look at another one. So question 2, find the equation of the line passing through these two coordinates. So same again, we're going to go do our gradient. x1, y1 x2, y2. And as you get better, you don't necessarily need to always do this. Gradient formula is your y's on the top. So it's minus 2 take away 4. On the bottom, it's 5 take away 3. And that will give us minus 6 over 2. Oh, it's similar to the previous example. 6 divided by 2 is 3, but there is a negative there. So m equals negative 3. So that's what we're going to be using in our equation. Let's choose a coordinate. Now, I said earlier I would probably have chosen the, the c1 because it doesn't have negatives. But I'm going to show you the working if it did have a negative. So I'm going to use that one, the 5 minus 2 this time, 
and it really doesn't matter which one you choose as long as you do all the algebra right it should still work out so y minus b equals m bracket x minus a now it will be y minus minus 2 now remember if you've got y minus minus 2 that's a double negative so that really turns into a positive so this becomes y plus 2 equals our gradient of negative 3 bracket x sorry x minus a is number 5 so x minus 5 and same as last time we're going to expand that bracket but there's a negative in front of the bracket so that becomes negative 3x and remember a minus 3 times minus 5 double negative turns into a plus 15. So remember the rule, times in anything by a negative changes all your signs. From there, we just need to move this plus 2. So plus 2 will become a minus 2. So you've got minus 3x plus 15 plus 2 comes over to the right-hand side and becomes minus 2. Again, some of you will skip that line. And then we just need to tidy up. We have minus 3x, 15 take away 2 is 13, so plus 13. So the equation of this line is y equals negative 3x plus 13. Okay. Now the first two examples I've shown you have always had a nice whole number for a gradient. Ideally, I think at national five, that's what it's going to be like. However, you sometimes, as we know, have a fraction. Oops, it is a gradient. So these ones here are going to have fractional gradients now. And I've just written a wee bit in about our working changes if our gradient is a fraction. It changes ever so slightly. But we still do the same method. We find our gradient. So our gradient will be 4 take away 1 in this case. On the top, subtract the x's. 6 minus minus 3. And obviously the double negative we know becomes a positive. So that gives us 5 over 9. So, if, oh, no, that's wrong, silly me. 4 take away 1 is 3. So that gives us 3 over 9. Now, if you were to simplify the fraction 3 over 9, they both divide by 3, so that goes down to 1 third. Then we go right out our equation. y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. Which coordinate do I choose? Do I choose the one with the negative or the one with the positives? I told you already I like the one with the positives. So we're going to use the 6, 4 as your A and your B. So we have Y minus 4 for our B value. Our gradient is 1 third bracket X minus A is number 6. So we have that. Now, in the previous example, we multiplied the bracket out by the gradient. We could still do this here, though, because a third of x would just be a third x, and a third of 6 would give us minus 2. So this would probably give us a third x. A third of 6 is 2, so that would give us that at the side. However, it's not always possible for this fraction to multiply that number nicely. So we are going to show you the other way we do this. Now, in the topic change of subject, if you ever have a fraction, we tell you, get rid of the fraction. And the way to get rid of this fraction is to multiply the other side by the denominator of 3. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to multiply the other side by the denominator. So that becomes 3y. 4 times 3 is 12, so we have 3y minus 12 equals... Now, there's only a number 1 in front of the bracket now because effectively I've got rid of that 3. I've multiplied by 3 to counteract the divide by 3 in the right-hand side. So there's a 1 in front of the bracket which leaves us with x minus 6. Let's move over the 12 again. So 3y equals x minus 6. Negative 12 becomes plus 12, which gives us 3y equals x minus 6 plus 12 becomes positive 6 and then we need y in its own we like the equation to be y equals now what's in front of the y a number 3 so to counteract the times by 3 we divide by 3 remember there is a secret number 1 in front of the x here so 
So that's one divided by three, which is a third x, and six divided by three is plus two. Okay. I already said up here, look, that we were expecting to get a third x minus 2 over there. The negative 4 would have come over and added on to that, giving us the third x plus 2, which we had in the final answer. So what I would say is, if, 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 this thing here can be multiplied nicely by the gradient fraction, then multiply out the bracket. If it can't, don't do it. We're going to multiply the other side by the denominator. So let's look at our next example. Okay, equation of this line again. So straight into the gradient. M equals y2 minus y1. So minus 3 minus 5. All over minus 4 minus 6. Which gives us negative 8 over negative 12. As always, simplify your fraction down. The double negative will cancel out, making it a positive gradient. 8 over 12 goes down to dividing by 4 to give us 2 thirds. So our gradient here is 2 thirds. Into the equation, y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. What coordinate do we choose? Again, you know, I've already said I like the ones without any negatives, so we're going to use 6, 5 as AB. So we have Y minus 5 equals 2 thirds bracket X minus 6. Okay, so Y minus 5, oh, I forgot the equal sign there. We're going to multiply the left-hand side all by 3. So we're going to times all of this by 3 which gives us 3y minus 3 fives are 15. Please, please, please always remember multiply everything, not just the y. So 3y minus 15 equals, now that 3 has been counteracted now, leaving us with 2 in front of the bracket. So that'll give us 2x minus 12. Okay, from there we need to rearrange. So we need to bring the 15 over. 3y equals 2x minus 12. Minus 15 will become plus 15, giving us 2x plus 3. And then again, we need to counteract the 3y, so we need to divide everything by 3. If it doesn't divide nicely, you leave it as a fraction. So that gives us 2 thirds x plus 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, my examples have all given you a really nice y-intercept. What I want to do is pretend for a second it didn't. Take you back to this one again and just double check whether you look at the equation at the very end. When we do our change the subject to get it y equals, the gradient should match the two thirds that you had earlier on in the example. Okay, I hope you followed that okay. So let's say I got down to the final line of an equation and it gave us 5x equaled, sorry, 5y equaled, 3x plus 4. You would then divide by 5 to get rid of the times 5 there. 3 doesn't divide by 5, so you leave it as 3 fifths x. 4 doesn't divide by 5, so you leave that as 4 5. So the gradient of the y-intercept here wouldn't be a nice coordinate. It would be 0 4 fifths. Okay, so not all, it's not always a nice coordinate, but theoretically at national 5, it should be. Okay. I just